Right guys, next to the camera is a rather sizable pile of CD players, some DVD players, some CD recorders and one or two cassette decks. I made a bit of a mistake because that's normally where the camera is. So yeah, bear with me, it's going to be a bit of a weird angle. Uh, right now my uh, DVD burner, actually an external one because my new PC case doesn't have space for DVD burners anymore or for optical drives. My DVD burner is burning a CD with some relative free music because this one is getting quite scratched up. But uh, this player seems to be reading it. So this here is a Kenwood DP950 minus one leg. Uh, okay, we have sound from the... There we are. Okay, that seems problem free. Yep. Eee. I mean, the CD is a bit scratched up, so let's not be too picky. Let's try another scratched up CD, my classic uh, Jack Johnson testing CD that I've been using for years, so it's only getting worse. I recently polished it with toothpaste. It does work. Oh, it's not happy. See if cleaning the lens does anything good. And if it doesn't, then we know that this CD player has had it. Turns out there's this massive board over the laser unit. I will uh, try to see if I can still get to the laser, but it's gonna be, uh, yeah, this is not an easy one to work on. Guess I'm gonna have to remove those two screws to do that. Right, four screws, one cable tie. Have we achieved anything? It's dead, Jim. I normally wouldn't recommend using a DVD player as a CD player because they are slow and unwieldy and they usually don't sound better at all. But uh, with CD players dying left and right, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's see, I'm going to bring the camera a bit more here so you can actually see who's talking to you. This one, uh, I'm only going for slightly more upmarket ones that you can completely control from the front, the face panel. Uh, so this one can also play Super Audio CD and it has the play and stop and all that buttons on the face. It says CD right now. Uh, there's play, very big. Does it work? Yep, just fine. Very quick actually for a CD play, for a DVD player even. That's your uh, relative free music. Yeah, it can't wind. So that's something to keep in, uh, in mind. The only way to fast forward and rewind this one is by using the remote which has obviously gone missing, as they do. Next up on the pile, I have no idea. It's a Yamaha, very heavy DVD player as well. Uh, it doesn't say Super Odyssey anywhere, anywhere but it, uh, it's a serious feeling device. Um, but we're only gonna use it for its CD player capabilities. Uh, mixed to channel, I think that's the output we need. I mean, if anyone wants to use this for a DVD player, that's fine too, but that's not what we're testing them for. So let me turn this off so you can maybe see the display open. Ah, ooh, very smudged. There's something in it. Ooh, MP3, it says. So that works. Uh, but that's an MP3 CD. It's a very, I can't see on the camera screen if you can see, but it's a very gross disc. Not quite as quick, does sound a bit better, there's a bit more dynamic sounding. There's also some, some air around the instrument, not just two speakers standing up there. Okay, this is definitely the better sounding player. Okay. Oh, there we go, wow. Okay, I'm not sure how to stop it winding, I think it just keeps... And then you have to press play? Yeah, that's how it works, okay. So it's sort of a toggle. So that works, a uh, bit of a weird system, but uh, I guess you can get used to that. I don't like these twisty ties. Here we go, let's plug in the NAD. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Let me first plug in gold plated connectors, all very fancy. I mean, it is an NAD in the end. It's an NAD, NAD DVD CD MP3 player. T512, it does power on. Let me again turn the light off so you can see the display. Very fancy, three color graphic, no disc, 
you found that out quite quickly. But will you find that there is a disc? Oh, very noisy. Yeah, it is reading. Uh, that's not play. Why do I play? Here. What does this do? Okay, we can scan. Same system. Keeps going until you press. Menu obviously doesn't do anything. Yeah, works fine. Um, Sound-wise, I, I like the, the, the sound of the wood in the mid-range. That sounded very convincing. But other than that, it sounds a bit boomy. It's not, not a very subtle sounding thing. Not harsh in any way, because it is still British. But uh, it lacks uh, the, the, the finesse, the refinement of the, of the Yamaha. So, so far the Yamaha is the clear winner of our apparently accidental DVD player test. Here's a heavy Harman Kardon. Best product of the year, audio player. Okay. It's not an audio player though, is it? Is it? This is not a DVD player. I thought it was, but it's not. It's the Harman Kardon HD970, which just judging by the number, sounds like an upmarket model. It does seem to turn on, or was that already blue? Or opening? Well, that's, no, apparently not. Ha, wakey, wakey. Okay, let's give it a second to wake up. Open and closing. This is bright enough for you to read, right? Is it me or all? They're all giving a different time there. Okay. I'm gonna go straight to track four because I think that's the most useful for me so far. Um, yeah. Let's try five then. It's going to a dash. Should I press play? Yes, maybe I should. Okay. Um, the thing does sound good. There's, the, there's no way around that. It actually does sound good. It has a display button here, which just changes the brightness. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not getting any other information there. Ah, it works normal as you expect you know what this thing actually sounds really good there's uh, there's no way around it it looks like a cheap dvd player but it's actually a half decent uh, dvd player it's just trying to display cd text which isn't there um so i would need a remote for this one to consistently display the time that's that's a bit of a pity yeah it sounds really good it uh, just just beats the yamaha I think this is actually a recorder, yes it is, and then we have a bit of a challenge, because uh, I am not sure if this one demands uh, recordable CDRs, or if it, like audio CDRs, or if it can work with normal recordable CDRs. That's a very noisy drawer, let me turn the light off so you can do the display, there will be VUs on show. CDRW? Question mark? No, just CDR. CD, yes, you found that out. Okay. Do we have VUs on playback? Ooh. There we go. I mean, I do like the VUs on playback. That's just. That's quite a satisfying machine to work with. It sounds nice, but it is very bass heavy. So here comes obviously the moment of truth. Can we record with this? I'm going to turn the light back on and find the CDR. It's a CDR, it says. Well, it's correct. Um, okay, this mouse does not work on this surface at all. Does it work on the CD player? Yes, it does. Okay. There should be input on this machine now. Pro disc. Whatever. What does that mean? Moni. Yeah, I would like some Moni. Okay, that works. Yeah, let's, let's record and probably ruin a disc. Um, Pro disc. I'm not sure what that means though. New disc, yes. Are you ready to record now? I'm not actually sure. My screwdriver is rolling away from me. Actually, this is kind of a cool camera view. So, uh, turns out, yes, that was the issue. It needs audio discs, and I'm not sure if this is one. No, it is not. It does not work with this one. Uh, these are very cool looking vinyl look discs. 
very cool, but not actually audio discs, just really cool ones. Now I'm afraid that these are audio discs, but I would rather not use them because look at how cool these are. Had them for years, never used them, so maybe I just should anyway. Uh, CDR, no, it says data, so I don't think this is an audio disc either. I'm afraid I don't have audio CD recordables, which is a bit of a pity. ProDisc. ProDisc, even though it's a really bad explanation, just means you need an audio CDR. Uh, so this thing seems to work, but I need audio CDRs to test it, so to be continued. It's an Onkyo, and it doesn't seem to do a fat lot. Um, ooh, it's a joystick. It has a joystick. That actually feels very satisfying. But other than that, it, it goes into and out of standby. It has a display and a dimmer function, but... It's a pity if this one's broken because it actually is also a super audio CD player. This is on, now, now it's on, but uh, I can hear the motor whirring again, but no, no way of uh, resetting it. Let me plug it in again. See, standby, on. Hey, oh, hello, morning Onkyo, can you see that? It's typical Onkyo green, so it appears to have figured out its shit. Oh, ah, must be the Celtic Miss CD inside that's uh, ruining it. Why is there, are there always Celtic Miss CDs inside these things? I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah, I did press enough times. Ooh, ooh, it's not a good timing machine. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, it, it works. Let me see if it turns. Goodbye. Let me see if it turns on again. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can make it consistently work. Yeah. Not sure what's just going on, but it appears to be working now. But it doesn't sound good at all. Look, an actual CD player. You already saw it here. But. Uh, it's a Denon, so I'm just gonna assume it's broken. Uh, I lost my CD, but it's right there. Ooh, that's a very bright display, that's a good sign. How quick it is, why is there a... Okay, oh, look at this, this is kind of cool. It has a, a little indent here, so you can grab the CD easily with your finger, but it looks a bit weird if there's no CD in it. But as soon as it's in, you're like, oh, that, that actually makes sense. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Now I know Denon, 20-bit CD players. I'm not too happy about reading CD-Rs. Um, so let's get a, an actual CD. See if that helps. No, that's, that's a no. Let's try the scratched up Jack Johnson one then. That sounds better. Eee, it sounds unhappy. Okay. Sounds good. Nice and tight. That's honestly quite a good sounding CD player. Why doesn't it? Okay, there we are. So this is usually where they mess up. Because the beginning of that track is all beat up. No, this one's fine actually. Wow, a Denon that actually works flawlessly. Miracles exist, so uh, yeah, it's a Denon DCD. Oh, wait. I didn't. Oh boy, it's one of those again. Please fix yourself. I think it's alright. Yeah. There's dirt on the sensor. It's okay now. It's a Denon DCD 1015 and it's working flawlessly. That's cool. As you can see from the change of perspective there's some space here now there's just one stack of cd players left yes there were two stacks of equal height although the second stack only has four machines because they are fat also i see that i miss a cassette deck that i plan to uh, add to this equation so this is an onkyo green display typical onkyo and um yeah usually onkyo cd players are not the most reliable things out there but this pile has so far surprised me so let's see very gross play button actually. I'm gonna play it on the push it on the left because the right side is just gross. It's reading. Uh, 
Okay, it says track one, next track two. That makes sense. Not sure what was going on there. I didn't want to play track one. Oh, that sounds horrendous. I've had this before with Onkyos, where they just sounded absolutely horrible, and you wonder if there's something wrong or whether it's supposed to sound like that. I don't think you can hear that, but it's pretty distorted. Ugh. I don't know if it's if it's normal for these things. I've heard it before. I thought it was. Oh wait, th this this doesn't make any sense, does it? but I don't think it's supposed to be sound like that and I'm, I'm not quite sure but at least it works I mean that's that's more than I'm used to with Onkyo CD players um, my experience with Onkyo CD players is that they sound like crap except for a few really expensive models and the really expensive models are all broken so yeah can't be very positive also I just found a mouse um, Onkyo DVS555 somewhere down the street of the beast and again green display you know the drill Pretty quick to respond. Ooh, weird sound, but does it read? No, it says stop now. Stop CD, yeah, well, play. Okay, it's just very slow. This one sounds all right, by the way. So, we got a, jo a joystick again. It does wind properly. This player doesn't seem to be doing very much. Maybe that's just for DVDs. What else do we have? Oh, random. Wow, that's dramatic. The whole animation, can you see? 13. You know, oh, now this player goes between random and the time. Okay. So the thing works fine, actually. It's just, oh, random still on. Wait, let me turn it off. Stop it. Ah, cassette deck, uh, variety, oh god, it's heavy. So normally I never get double cassette decks, but this is Denon's fattest double cassette deck. I think it's literally the most expensive one they made back in this series. So I did want to give it a, a fighting chance because this kind of cool. Uh, let me turn off the light so you can see. Boom! It's got two recording decks. Yes, both of them can record. Uh, and I think that alone is worth uh, giving it a shot. Um, I'm gonna get you a little closer, point you down a little. Okay, let's see what we got. There's nothing sensible on this tape, so don't expect much, but let's see what... Okay, that works fine, it seems. This now won't come out anymore. Okay, it's very dirty, this machine. And see that the knobs don't come out properly. You can do it. Here we are. Yeah, this sounded pretty shitty, but maybe it's just just dirty. Can you uh, can you let go of my tape, maybe? Oh boy, it's one of those rotating head thingies, so you just know it's gonna be a pain in the ass in many ways. Okay, that's better. So it was just dirty then. Let's uh, trying to get my thing back. Here we are. Let's uh, try recording. These switches are really annoying. There's just lo you loads of crap on top of them. Probably also underneath them, by the way. So they just keep sticking and not coming back out. This all seems to work rather well. Um, play. Okay, the sound just went, but that's probably the wonky cable again. Let's turn all the reverse. Oh, let's turn Dolby off. Oh, that actually does something to the sound. That's you can hear the Dolby working and monitoring because this is not a three hat machine, is it? That would be cool a double deck three hat machine, but it's not. Ugh, quick, oh, we got vibration a lot of it. Sounds good otherwise, but okay. And how does that sound when I play it back on this one?
just fine actually. That one seems to play a little better. Not a bad machine at all. Okay, let's try recording again now on this machine. That may be your recording, not sure. No, that's a new one. Ooh. Okay, there's definitely some vibration going on, but it's fully functional. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna um, let it just run for a bit in the next couple of days and see what it does then. Usually that helps with these machines. But this is the Denon DRW850 and it's it's a nice machine. It's uh, it's definitely one of the better dual decks. Just a pity that it's auto reverse. I get why you can do endless repeat, but it just yeah it, it will it will cause a headache. Auto reverse machinery with a with a head that rotates just always horrible. There goes my Q-tip. That was not intended. Anyway, so what is next? It's another Denon. I had CD record on. TOC reading. That, that's a very Sony-esque display. We got no disc. That could be correct. This opens, that opens, that's a good start. So, there's something about a dual, dual back CD player that I like. Let me show you the display because this is obviously gonna have some VU action. It does read fine. I think it has VU action. Maybe it doesn't. No VUs, really. It's a different drive. That's a CD drive, that's a, that's a DVD drive. Disc arrow, but why? But why? What's your issue? Come on. Let me get my trusty little lower thingy. If there's any dust on the laser that usually fixes it, turn the light back on. You've seen the display by now. I'll give you the views in a second. D in CD, thanks. It's not completely happy, but it does work now. I, tell, I swear, th this shit works. Oh, that one sounds better. Definitely a very different CD drive. Yeah. This one sounds messy. But it's fine because it's not meant for... for it's not meant for playback, it's meant for recording. Where did I put that, that empty disc that I didn't use just now? I just find it at the thrift shop, you know, 10 for 50 cents or so. Everyone gets rid of them. Um, let's uh, get that reggae tune. I just don't know which one that was. Blank disc, you're right. Use audio disc. <laughs> you, sir, are an asshole. The pile next to me is growing and is looking increasingly dangerous. The last, the last DVD, so, sorry, the last CD recorder. And then I still have one cassette deck to test. I was wrong. I've already tested this in a previous video. It had previous? Previous video. The cool thing about this one is that it's a stable plateau mechanism. So if I'm not mistaken, oop, fancy, all very nice and gold plated looking stuff. This is a very nicely made machine from the looks of it. But if I'm not mistaken, because it's a stable plateau, the CD should go in upside down. Am I right? Insert disc label side down. Can you see? I once had a very fancy stable plateau CD player. Uh, obviously also Pioneer. I didn't like the sound, but um, maybe this one's better. Let's see. It does seem to work well. It's louder than the others, which is a bit, well, it's possible actually. You know what? This is not bad. I prefer the Denon. But, I mean, there's also a bit bass heavy. But then it is very musical sounding. It's not just, just bass, you know. We got some cool VUs. We got the fancy stable platter. But will it eat normal CDRs? Because that would, that would be a reason to keep it, actually. Yes. Is it going to say Pro Disc now? New Disc. Yeah, same problem. Cool machine, but that's obviously an issue. But we do have nice views here. How do you change the recording level, I wonder? Huh. Maybe just on a remote or something. Cool views though, I mean, uh, look at that. 
it's always kind of cool to have views on a CD player, right? But uh, yeah, recording levels probably remote only. Um, that's a bit of a pity. Maybe I should check the manual though, because maybe there is another way. I can turn the views off. Why would you want to turn the views off? Cool machine. Um, pity about the about the remote, um, probably remote recording level. But even a CD player, it's it's a very nice, a very nice looking machine. This. So uh, yeah. we'll see what we do with it. It's uh, it's it's a beauty. Um, this is probably not how you should do that. Let me put these back where they came from and uh, start looking for audio CDRs and possibly remotes.